Hey there, Mikey Reedy here with another tip to help you to be wealthy and successful and show up as the most powerful version of you so you can make your dreams a reality. And my tip for today is to stop making money such a big deal. If you want to have different results with money, then hear me out. I'm not, I don't mean to trivialize or diminish the situation that you're in right now. I know that it is tough in the world right now, that there is a cost of living crisis, that whilst your expenses are escalating, the amount of money that is coming in is not. And this makes it very, very hard to make ends meet. And I know that this can be incredibly stressful and create so much anxiety. Unfortunately, if this is the state that you are in, and I know that you're saying, but this is my reality. These are my circumstances. You don't understand. Now, if you have locked onto this as your, as your state of mind and your state of being, and you have, you have these thoughts that it's helpless and it's hopeless and you don't know how to get out of it, then guess what? You are going to stay stuck in the same Groundhog Day and nothing is going to change. I'm not saying this is easy, but stick with me while I explain this to you because if you are constantly in this state of mind that there's not enough money, I can't pay my bills, this I'm just never going to get out of this situation and you're in a constant state of stress and anxiety around money, then it's just going to be a self-fulfilling prophecy and you are making money bigger than you. Think about that. If money as a dominant thought is creating stress and you are feeling like your world is controlled by a lack of money, this is a lack of poverty consciousness and it's not your fault. The vast majority of society is conditioned and programmed and indoctrinated into having a lack of poverty consciousness through our environment. Our, we are a product of our environment. So in order to break free of this cycle, you've got to break the mindset, the control that money has on your mindset. So how do you stop making money such a big deal when it is such a dominant force and you feel like you are at the mercy of money? You've got to take your power back because you are giving your power away to money right now if that's where you are at. So how do you take your power back? You shift your focus. So if you want to have a wealth and abundance mindset, you've got to shift your focus away. There's never enough. I can't make enough. There's, there's too many bills piling up. You've got to cut that off. Now, there's multiple ways that you can do that. Now, you know that I love EFT tapping and there is my wealth consciousness movement um, community where you can get access to dozens of EFT tapping videos to rewire your brain for money, wealth and abundance. It's all free. I am really committed to your wealth, to your success, to you breaking free from this vicious cycle that we have as a society been indoctrinated into for hundreds, if not thousands of years. It's a great way to disempower humanity is to keep us locked into this system of enslavement. So I'm passionate about this. I want you to be wealthy. I want you to break free because I know when you are wealthy, you will make the world a better place. So stop making money such a big deal and start to get solution focused. Do you know what else wealthy people do really well apart from having a great relationship with money? They're not lucky. They have a great mindset. They have a wealth and abundant mindset, uh, abundance mindset. How many success stories have you heard about where wealthy and successful people have built massive wealth, lost it all, and then built it again and come back bigger and better than ever? Because they have a wealth and abundance mindset, they know how to make money. And they have a relationship with money where they see money as leverage. They see money as a tool that they use to create the life that they want, to create um, the success that they want, to achieve the results that they want. Money to them is, it's a tool. It's a way to get what they want. Whereas the vast majority of the population are kind of like, I haven't got enough money. I need more money, 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 money. Money is like this. Um, it, it's got them by the throat <laughs> and it's squeezing really tight. 
So if you're feeling like that, you've got to shift the way you see money and be solution focused. Wealthy and successful people are very, very good at finding solutions to problems. And if you have a relationship with money where you feel small and powerless and hopeless, then you are saying that this is bigger than me. You are saying that I am powerless in my relationship to money. And you're not. You are bigger than any challenge you will ever face. You are bigger than any challenge you will ever face. You shift your focus to being not I can't, how can I? You shift your focus to being, okay, this sucks. I hate being in this situation. I am determined to find a solution. I am not going to be bound by my perceived limitations. Remember, you can make money or you can make excuses, but you can't do both. That does not mean that the situation that you find yourself in right now does not feel real. But remember, it is a product of your thinking, of your beliefs. Every single experience and situation that you have is a product of your beliefs, of your thinking. So it's about shifting your thinking, shifting your focus. So start thinking about, okay, I don't have enough money. And yes, it can cause stress in my life. And yes, my bills are paying up. So what am I going to do to change it? What am I going to do to solve it? Every single successful person is determined to find a solution to their problems. So what is the perfect solution for you? What value can you offer to the marketplace so you can bring more money in? If you don't have enough money, then there's a variety of ways that you can change that. You can cut down on your expenses. The vast majority of the population are programmed and conditioned to be good consumers and buy shit that we just don't need that doesn't add an extended amount of value to our life. And we are conditioned to go into debt to buy that stuff. So if you have an abundance of money and you want to spend it on things that really are of value to you and add value and meaning to your life, then, hey, go for it. But also what wealthy and successful people do really well is they know how to grow money and invest money. So they know how to make it. They know how to keep it. And they know how to grow it. They're the three things that they do really, really well. So making money is not the big issue. Once you know how to make money, and once you know how to make a lot of money, that's a game changer. Now, there are people who make a lot of money out there, but they don't know how to grow it. They don't have a good relationship with money. So they get into more and more and more debt. They're keeping up with the Joneses, right? Instead of actually investing their money in growth strategies... They spend their money on bigger houses, on fancy cars, on, um, you know, uh, um, on um, great holidays. Now, that is not their liabilities. If you've ever read A Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, he clearly defines what is a liability and what is an asset. You want to be spending money in the assets realm because the assets will accumulate wealth for you. Whereas liabilities will just suck you dry, basically. And you will be surprised as to what he defines an asset and what he defines as a liability. Really, I cannot recommend enough that you read that book. So... Stop making money such a big deal. Now you know that wealthy people, money is a big deal in their life, but it is not bigger than them. They understand and they define their relationship with money that it is just, and their world, their life is a product of the fact that they use money to their advantage. They make money work for them. It's very, very, a very different way to look at money isn't it? So stop making money such a big deal. Shift your focus. If you're not in a great relationship with money yet, then start focusing on the solutions. What can you do to offer value to the marketplace? Because money is just a value exchange. People exchange money all the time for things that they want in return, for solutions to the problems that they have. 
to things that they believe will add value and improve their life. So what do you do? You find something that will um, will help to improve a person's life and you provide them the solution in exchange for the money. That's called selling. Now, if you sell with heart, it is service. Selling is service when you are selling heart with heart and when you are solving people's problems. Yes. So you need to change your relationship with sales as well. So stop being a commodity and, and a, a consumer who is just gobbling up everything that the system wants to throw at you and says, you need this. If you, you know, if you want to live a great life, then you need this. No, you don't. <laughs> what do you need? You need shelter. You need food. And I recommend that you want to create a stress-free environment. How are you going to get there? You got to take the focus of making money such a big deal. You need to reprioritize the way you spend money and redefine your relationship with money. Are you ready to do that for yourself? So try this little exercise before I finish up today. Just take a step back. Thinking about money, take a step back from the anxiety and the stress. Stop making money such a big deal right now. It's just numbers. You know that money actually only has the value that we put in it. It, it is only has value because we believe it has value because it is fiat, currency. There is nothing that actually gives money value except our belief in it. So step back and just see the money as numbers. It doesn't matter what numbers you have in your bank account right now. They're just numbers. Remember, everything is a story. So what story have you created about your bank account? What story have you created around money? What story have you created around your bills? Again, your bills are just numbers. The only meaning anything has is the meaning that you give it. So take your power back. Stop giving money meaning that says it's stressful and it, it and there's not enough money and I am powerlessness in relationship to money. Cut. Just be neutral. Think about money and be really, really neutral. Don't get wound up. Take your power back. How does that feel? It's different, isn't it? Do you feel your energy shift? Do you feel your frequency shift? This is the master key to you creating a new relationship with money. Okay. Um, if you are a conscious impact driven entrepreneur and you have not seen my passion, purpose, profit, power class yet, then go to the address that's on your screen right now. It is free. I will show you secrets, tips, strategies, tools, um, structures that you can set up to build a business that feeds your soul, makes an impact in the world and helps you to create wealth all at the same time. So remember to like and subscribe and comment below to let me know what shift you have had in your perception and your mindset because everything is a story everything is perception once you shift this you transform your world i would love to know how this impacts you um, and i look forward to seeing you in another video very soon until next time take care and bye for now